Hi, my friends, this is Loli. Today we will be creating three beautiful wood rounds using some of the vinyl and some of the leather from Dollar Tree. For the first one, of course, we will be using a wood round and remove that hanger. And we're going to use this white leather that's actually on sale at Dollar Tree right now, two for one dollar. I'm going to take and make sure that I have enough to cover the entire wood round. And then I'm going to take some of my tight bond glue thick and sticky <laughs> something like that and i'm going to add it to all of the edges making sure to go all the way to the end of the edges i want to make sure that this sticks very nicely and then i'm going to add it to the rest of the wood round and spread it around using a brush Then I'm going to place the leather right on top of the wood round, making sure that it's going to all of the edges and then smoothing it out, making sure that every inch is attached. And I cut off the excess. Then using an X-Acto knife and this self-healing mat, I'm going to cut off the excess leather. Then I'm going to take this sign that I got from Dollar Tree in the 1950s. I can't remember when I got this, guys, but I got it at Dollar Tree. I want to say about two years ago. And I'm going to go ahead. First of all, I want to know where my top is. So I'm poking the holes through the back of my wood round to be able to know in the front where my holes are. So I'm just using my weeder to do that. And then I went back on the other side as well to poke the holes in. And I'm trying to make sure that those pieces that are busted and if that makes any sense like the edges are inside the hole so it looks more finished then i'm going to remove that jute cord from the back of the sign i'm just going to use my staple remover to remove the staples that are holding them in place and this piece fits so nicely i'm going to put it to the side for now though i wanted to make sure that i had my hangers in place before i added this just to make sure that everything was centered. The hanger helps me a lot as a place of reference to know if everything is in place. I didn't want to just put in the same jute cord hanger. So I'm adding a combination of, I think it's a two to one of um, beads of some of the white and some of the black. And this came from Dollar Tree as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. And this is the pattern we ended up with. Then I position my hanger in place. I'm just going to thread it through the front of the wood round just to make sure that I have more of a finished look in the front. Now it's time to attach this to the wood round. And to do that, I'm going to use a combination of hot glue and some tight bond thick and quick. As a full disclaimer here, this is the first time that I tried it. I only used the hot glue. But when I came home the next day, the sign was on the floor. So I guess that letter didn't like just the hot glue. So I ended up gluing it with some tight bond and hot glue. And I put something over it that was heavy and kept it there until the glue was able to set. As I put the sign on, I decided to take this off. I wasn't happy with how that looked. So I wanted to do my own. This was like a last minute thing. So I removed all the glue as best as I could from there. And I painted that section because there were some places in which you can still see the glue. I sanded off the area and I'm going to come in with this full car black paint and paint all the sections that I sanded down. It was a perfect match to the black that was already there so I didn't have to do anything to the rest of the sign. Once the paint dried, I'm going to take some of these leaves that I'd like a, a hanging vine that comes at Dollar Tree. You can see it right there. And I'm just going to curve it as best as I can. Add some hot glue to the ribs at the back of the leaves and I'm attaching three in succession they're pretty much kind of overlapping here and there until I form a complete circle around the O. And as I add the leaves, I'm trying to add them all in the same order, like one in the same direction and overlapping it a little bit. So you will be covering the end of one with the beginning of the other. And that is it for this one. You let me know what you think. To 
this video is part of the Woodrang or Read Wednesday, the www, that is hosted monthly by Aurea from DIY with Aurea and myself, Loli from Loli Liz Creations. This collaboration is done on the fourth Wednesday of every month at 6 p.m. EST. In this collaboration, the challenge is to use wood rounds or read forms to create beautiful decor. This is such a fun collaboration. Make sure that you click the link below and you are able to see everyone's video and show everyone some love. For the next inspiration, I will be using a wood round as well. I'm using two. Both of these came from the Dollar Tree and I will be using some of this vinyl from Dollar Tree as well. First thing we are doing is removing that hanger off of the bigger wood round and the smaller wood round. For the smaller wood round, I'm painting it with the linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. But then I changed my mind and I painted it with my full card rich black chalk paint. But kept the letters white. Using the same black chalk paint and a small brush, I'm just distressing all the edges around the letters. And this is how it looked like when I was done. Then I'm going to take that vinyl and cover the front of my bigger wood round. I am adding it into small sections and smoothing it off as I'm putting the vinyl down until I cover the entire surface. Then I cut off the excess vinyl and then use an X-Acto knife to cut the edges off as well. Friends, if you're not aware, right now Dollar Tree has these vinyls at 50 cents each. So go ahead and stock up on them. But only use them for surface covering or things like that because they are not the best when it comes to using them with your Cricut. Here I'm just using my brayer or my scraper actually to remove any kind of bubbles and working from the middle out to have the air pockets go out of my surface. Then using an X-Acto knife, I'm cutting off all the excess vinyl. And here it is all covered up. We're going to put it to the side for now because we are going to use one of these rings that we also got from Dollar Tree. Removing that tag and covering it with two coats of my linen white chalk paint from Rose Dolium. Making sure that it's nicely dried. And now we are going to put everything together. Actually, no, we are going to first make a hanger. <laughs> using the same hanger that came off of the wood round, I am using this pack of beads from Dollar Tree and I'm using the three colors. You see, they have a pattern of one of each and put in one of the big ones in between every three. Now, here I am marking off my my openings of my hanger again using my weather there and then we are going to feed that hanger right back onto it from the front to the back now now <laughs> adding some hot glue to the back of this hello sign we are going to glue it to the center of the bigger wood round and it was hot <laughs> so use your heat uh, protectants here we are going to attach our ring to the wood round and to do that i'm just adding some hot glue to it i will consider using hot glue and e6000 or hot glue and um, thick and quick for this as well placing it right there on the edges and it's a perfect size for this wood round now i'm going to take some of this greenery from dollar tree i'm going to cut two pieces off and we are going to pair them up as you see right there they were a little bit scanty, but that is fine. We will fix it later on here. I'm just trying to fluff it as best as I can to have it look full. Then I just added a nice blob of hot glue onto the bottom where I was going to position them and press them down onto the hot glue, one on top of the other. And to add a little bit more protection to it, I just braid, I just added another blob of the hot glue on top of that. And in the sections that were a little bit scanty, I just cut individual pieces and added them on so both sides look nice and uniform. If you enjoyed this video so far, go ahead and comment, like, and share. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Now it's time to create a bow. So I'm going to decide here on the black and white here, pocket dotted, but the mostly black. And we are going to do a double loop bow. I'm just doing an awareness bow as you see there, scrunching it in the middle. 
but I'm going to do this twice. I am doing loops in opposite directions, angled at opposite directions as well, ending up with two loops and two tails, as you see right there. Then I'm going to scrunch everything in the middle and tie it with a piece of jute board. Then I cut a piece of ribbon out of the other spool. It's gonna be just a little strip of it. And I'm going to glue that strip over the jute board. I just added a little bit of hot glue on the back of the bow, added one end of the ribbon to it, wrapped it around the front to cover the jute cord, and then glued it again on the back. Then taking the edges of the tails, I'm going to fold them long ways and cut upward at an angle to create dovetails on each one of the tails. Now add a nice decent amount of hot glue on the back of the bow and glue it right there onto that mountain of hot glue that I have going on there and cover it right up. And that is it. Let me know what you think. For the next inspiration, another good round. Surprise, surprise. But this time we're going to use leather and some peel and stick and those words also from Dollar Tree. Of course, removing that hanger because we are going to be covering this wood round with the peel and stick. I am starting by removing the peel and stick off of that smaller section on the back, making sure that it lines up nicely with the edge of the wood round. And then I'm going to slowly start peeling away onto the larger size of the peel and stick background and smoothing slowly as I go along to avoid any kind of bubbles. Then I remove the excess paper using my X-Acto knife. There was a section of the wood round that was not covered but that is fine because we are going to be adding this leather from Dollar Tree. This is the perfect size for this craft. If you go low enough, you will get to the edges where both the edges of the wood round and the edges of the leather match just perfectly. To attach the leather, I'll be using some tight bond quick and thick. I'm just going to add the glue to all the edges, making sure not to add too much or too far up onto the wood round to avoid any excess glue onto the paper. Then I just lined up my leather once again with the edges of my wood round and there I had a little bit of bleed, but that's fine. I just cleaned it off and then slowly pressed down on those edges, making sure that my leather was not wrinkled in any places and that it was nicely stretched as well. And trimmed off my excess leather. Then I came back with my X-Acto knife and trimmed off the rest of my excess leather. Then I'm going to use these thumb tacks from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut off the pointy end off of all of them. And I'm going to position them all along the edges of the leather. I spaced them out as you see there, just eyeballing them. And I'm going to glue them on using some of this tight bond. Click and click, click and click. I cannot say it today, guys. You know what I mean. <laughs> and as I glued it along and I saw any of that glue seeping through the edges, I'm just cleaning them off right then and there. And I just keep going back and forth between both sides, gluing them on until I was completely done with that bottom section. Then I took one of these letter words that I got from Dollar Tree. I decided to use the word grateful and I glued it to the middle portion there of the peel and stick using some tight bond. And I just added two little dots of hot glue to a couple sections just to hold it in place until that other glue set. And as you see there, I made sure that that was really, really stuck properly every little bit of the word. There were a couple sections where there was still some paper sticking out. I just sanded it off with my zip sander. And now here we are going to just use a pick to clean that up. And we are going to find our holes once again, just poking through and then making sure that that paper goes inside the hole so we have a nice finish outside. For the hanger, I decided to take some of these wood beads from Dollar Tree and paint them with my gold full card metallic paint. 
I find that the easiest and quickest way to stain these beads are to just add them into a little Ziploc bag and add some of the paint into the bag and swish them around until all the beads are completely covered. Once we are done swishing them around, I just took them and put them into a paper towel to dry and I just used my heat gun in a low setting trying to move the beads around as I'm drying them to speed up the dry process. But watch out for some runaway beads. Then we are going to take the hanger that that wood round came with and add the beads to it. One, two, three, add a cadabra. Here we go. And then I repositioned the hanger, but I fed it from the front. I was wrestling with the finishing touches, so I decided to add some greenery to the front. This is what it looked like when they had the greenery. But then I decided that I didn't really like it this way, and I decided to put some gold thumbtacks along the top section of the leather as well. And this is how it ended up. You let me know which one was your favorite. And here it is, the final reveal. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which one of these three projects was your favorite. And if you plan on recreating it, I would love to see pictures on Instagram. Please tag me on your recreations. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. If you would like to watch some more of my videos, here's a suggestion, and you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. You're amazing. Bye.